Sleep apnea can not only ruin a good night's sleep, left untreated, it can lead to serious health problems. Here to talk about the correlation between sleep apnea and oral health are Drs. Bruce Soferman and Dr. Terry Jackson from the Connecticut Implant Center. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Good morning. Now, Doctor, you were here last time and we were talking about sleep apnea. For our viewers who might have missed it, why don't you recap really what it is? Well, we've been helping so many people with our sleep dental appliance that we have. Mm -hmm. People now are able to sleep with their spouses instead of in a different room. They're waking up refreshed. They're not tired during the day. They're driving. They're living normal lives, and it, it's quite a blessing. However, what was happening is that when people were missing teeth, mm -hmm. I was noticing the appliance lost some of its effectiveness. Okay. And I did a, a major search to figure out what to do with this, and there's an expert who I know, knew very well of, Dr. Terrence Jackson, and I asked him if he would please come on board, and it, the unfoldment came that not only can, at times, we can give a whole set of permanent teeth to a patient in one day, mm -hmm. but there's very few people in the state that can do this procedure, and Dr. Jackson, we're blessed to have him on board, and we created a, an implant center called Connecticut Implant Center, which blossomed not only for sleep, but to help people who are missing teeth. And wow, need. and we're lucky enough to have him here today. Yes, we are, and there he is, Dr. Jackson. <laughs> Dr. Jackson, nice tell us a you. little bit about the treatment. Um, well, for the sleep apnea, since the appliance moves around at night, um, we place four to six implants and restore them, um, which will be the anchor for the sleep appliance. Okay. And then Dr. Soferman can proceed with his treatment. Got it. Now, are these dental implants only for older people, or is it a wide range of... Ages? Well, dental implants are typically placed for patients between 16 and 65 or 80. I mean, there's, there really is no limit to the age mm -hmm. um, on the upper end. Um, patients who are younger can't have implants just because they're still growing. So uh, we see patients at the Connecticut Implant Center um, from 16 up. Really? Um, now, how long does this process take? Um, the implant placement actually takes between half an hour and several hours. All right, so. very good. And sometimes uh, we're able to do a whole set of permanent teeth in one day. That's really impressive because usually there's a process and you have to have temporary ones and that type of thing. Yes, right? and sometimes we're able to take a set of dentures mm -hmm. that have, you know, people have wear adhesive, it's slipping, and we're able to turn those dentures into permanent teeth that are fixed, that do not come out in one day. Got it. All right. Now let me ask you, are the implants for single or multiple replacements? We do single, multiple, and full arch, I mean, entire mouths. Okay. And uh, why don't you just recap for our viewers how, how having the, the dental implants fixes the sleep apnea? Because it fits better? Okay, well. Break it down for me. Okay. I know it could be. We have patients, and if patients have obstructive sleep apnea, their airway is being blocked. Got it. Now, one of the top treatments would be a CPAP machine, the continue of positive air pressure, but a lot of people cannot wear that machine, whether it's the claustrophobia, having a, the, the nose in your, a, a hose in your nose, mm -hmm. the uncomfortableness, the noise, and there is a, an alternative, and that alternative is a dental sleep appliance. But you have to make sure you have all your teeth. But you gotta make sure you have your teeth. Got it. And what we're finding was that it's just not as effective. Now what does a patient do if they can't use a CPAP machine, mm -hmm and they now can't use an appliance, there's no alternative. Got it. So thank God for meeting Dr. Jackson. We're able to have permanent sets of teeth created and made that look and so as the beautiful works and the appliance will work. It's a great partnership. Thank you yes. so much. We're just about out of time. Uh, people can get more information about the CT Implant Center at 203-735-2000. Dr. Soferman, Dr. Jackson, thanks thank for you. sharing. Thank you. All right.